The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewers, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host, Eunice Mugo. Today on the show, we want to talk about school and learning. After the long holiday, how are you prepared to take back your children to school? How ready are you after this whole long holiday? Are the children ready? Are you as a parent ready? Is the school ready for learning? Is the institution that your children are in ready to accommodate you with this new syllabus of CBC? On the show, I have a guest who is going to help us understand all these issues. I'd like him to introduce himself. Welcome, guest. Thank you so much. My name is Mr. Martin Mwangi, currently working at Mountain View School as a grade coordinator, and I'm glad to be invited in this show. Welcome, Mr. Martin. Thank you again. After this long holiday, we have had times with our children for two months now yeah. or so. Yeah. And uh, holiday means no learning, holiday means no books. Mm. And most of the children, they say, we are on holiday, so don't give us homework. Yeah. Don't stress us with books. Mm -hmm. uh, how are they now that they are back in school? Are they ready for learning? How are also the parents taking this after this long holiday? What I can say from my point of view, mm -hmm. learners from our side, mm -hmm. actually we engaged them over the holiday. Mm -hmm. They had enough homework mm -hmm. that was supposed to cater for the long holiday that actually we had since the COVID the pandemic. So they are ready. Our parents were eager to bring back the learners to school mm -hmm. so that at least we can have a new year and experience new things again. Oh, yes. nice. With this new year, the calendar is different compared to the last year's calendar. Yes. Last year we had four times. It was so hectic for mm -hmm. our parents, so hectic also for the school. Now that you are coming back to the normal curriculum or the normal timing, mm -hmm. how ready are you as a school? Actually, we are happy. Like what I'll say is we are happy mm -hmm. because as teachers, we also have time to carry out all the activities that have been lined up in the curriculum design mm -hmm. in the right way. Mm -hmm. If you look at last year and the previous years where we only had one week break, we sometimes got exhausted, exhausted along the way. Mm -hmm. But actually right now we shall deliver what is supposed to be delivered to the learners in the right way. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did it, we have done it, mm -hmm. but this time around actually it's supposed to come out in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. Since we have enough time, holidays are there, our learners will get also ample time to go home and relax and mm -hmm. come back to school rejuvenated mm. and feeling fresh. Nice. Yeah. CBC and 844 system mm -hmm. has been a great concern, especially to this primary level. Mm -hmm. Now that you are introducing grade six, last year we had the form four, the class eight and the class six yeah. doing all doing their national exam. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between now the grade six exams and the class eight national exams? One great difference between those two is one, the way those papers are handled and the way the grading system is applied. In 844, they normally come with a mark. Out of a possible 500, a learner has scored 430, 320 or something like that. But with what we have experienced with the grade six caps here, there are no marks. Actually, our parents are surprised. They were waiting for a mark or maybe something like a grade, what the form fours are normally doing, A, B, C, or D. This one has come with rubrics, meeting expectations, exceeding, below expectations, approaching expectations. So that is what the slip has come carrying, which has come as a surprise to many parents. So it also poses another challenge because they are asking now, what will happen later on when they want to join junior high? My question comes in when you say, they have come degrading, exceeding expectation, mm -hmm. excellent, poor. Uh, when did we get the results again? Because 
I remember hearing of the class eight gradings results being announced and the form four also gradings being announced. Yes. But I didn't hear anywhere we are being told that the grade six results are out. How did we, when did it happen? How are we getting the results now? Now, I remember when Mr. Machogu, the CS for Education, was releasing the KCP results. He mentioned that KCPSA results are also going to be released. There wasn't a major announcement the way it's normally done on social media and other platforms, where even parents come out uh, jubilating, celebrating the performances of their children. Mm -hmm. This one was just released to the portals of the school. So the school is the one to access the portal, download the slips, and then parents will visit the school so that they can pick the results from the respective schools. Oh, yes. given that, mm -hmm. do parents know that the results are already out? Because I had, sometimes last week I asked one parent that was talking about grade six student and I was like, when did you get the results? And uh, the parent told me, I don't know about the results. So how are you communicating about this? Because a lot of people don't know that the results are out. Okay. I'll talk about Mountain View School and how we engage our parents. Mm -hmm. We have a level coordinator mm -hmm. who acts as the link between the school and the parents. So immediately we first received the first news that uh, results will be out. We communicated with our parents and we sent a text message informing them that the results are out. They can visit the school at any time and uh, get the sleep. So that's how our parents got the awareness mm -hmm. of the results. So they were all eager. They kept on streaming in school day in, day out, mm -hmm. so that they can ac at least see what their children, sorry, what they've already done in uh, mm -hmm. Cape Sierra. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. With that, we are being told that the grade six learners those are that graduating to the junior high school. Mm -hmm. They were not supposed to open school together with the other learners. Mm -hmm. They should be coming in at a later date. Yes. How ready are you as a school for these grade seven learners? Actually, we are eagerly waiting for the recently concluded Kepsea results, mm -hmm. uh, the learners to mm -hmm. come back and join us. The classes are ready, mm -hmm. the laboratories are, are ready. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have everything ready on the ground. Mm -hmm. Immediately they come back on first, that is now next week, we shall have everything set. We already have interviewed teachers that are going to be handling our lessons at that level. So that actually speaks how ready as a school we've prepared ourselves. Mm -hmm. So anytime the learners hit the school next week, mm -hmm. it's learning and taking uh, them through the new strands, the new learning areas that have been introduced in grade seven. Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember when CBC was being introduced by then CS, the, Lord, the late uh, jo uh, George Magoha mm -hmm. was there and uh, parents had mixed reactions about this. Yes. Uh, what would you say in regards to that uh, when it was being introduced, how the parents took it and how also as a government putting measures into it, how the late CS was working together with the schools, the teachers, and making sure that the CBC is being implemented. From the beginning, CBC was not actually well welcomed by the parents. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, a good percentage was for it, mm -hmm. but there was that small percentage of parents mm -hmm. who actually felt it's like overworking the parents. At one point it was said that CBC has been introduced so that parents can also start working. It was also said somewhere along the way that it's even parents who are actually doing homework for the children mm -hmm. instead of the learners who are supposed to sit at their own table figure out maybe it's a calculation that they're supposed to do they work out those questions by themselves and finish cbc came in with a different approach where we need to engage our parents we need to engage the teacher the teachers so that this learner that we are bringing up mm -hmm. is a learner that comes up with aspects from both sides mm -hmm. the parental side and the teacher's side mm -hmm. So actually parents felt like uh, they are being overworked. Mm -hmm. They are being tasked to perform tasks that are not made for them. Mm 
Mm -hmm. But actually, it was an eye opener on the other side mm -hmm. because you get now to know mm -hmm. the interests of your learner, mm -hmm. the interests of your child. So when now we have a meeting between the parents and the teachers, we come up with a common solution and give a directive where this child will land later on. Mm -hmm. In terms of the government, they have actually helped us because we have received several trainings. We've gone through se sessions that enlighten us more on how to handle the CBC learners, mm -hmm. so that it can come out different from what the 844s are doing. Mm -hmm. That is the knowledge-based curriculum. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's all I can say for that. Oh. Mm -hmm. As we are mourning Professor George Magoha, how has it affected the school? Oh, no, not even the school, but the education system, maybe. Has his demise affected the education system in any way? Uh, what I can say, it's a bit early to make such a compliment. Mm -hmm. But being the, among the founders of CBC, we actually felt like we have lost a founder, somebody who could be consulted, somebody who could be asked a question, because they are the people who are the brainchild, they are the founders, they are the people who've, who brought forth uh, the CBC curriculum. So there are the people who could be consulted, there are people who could be asked a question, but still, may his soul rest in peace, wherever mm -hmm. he is, and everything happens for a reason. True. Yes. True, true, true. So with this CBC curriculum mm -hmm. and the learning that you say that you've acquired as teachers so that you can bring out the best mm -hmm. through the students, yeah. What can you say is the difference between the 844 system that we are used to and this new CBC system? The difference between 844 and CBC, it's like somebody walking a journey guided by the teacher. The first journey is the knowledge-based curriculum where the teacher becomes everything to the child. Goes out there, gets resources, comes up with the information and gives it to the learner. With the CBC system, it's the same, same journey, guided by the teacher who in this uh, section will be referred to as a facilitator, who is supposed to facilitate this learner. This learner is the one to go and discover. This is the learner who will sit down and try to figure out how they can solve a problem. The facilitator is there to just have a look. In case of anything, the facilitator corrects the learner and the journey moves on. So if you compare both, I would actually prefer this situation where the learner makes a discovery of their own because whatever they discover actually sticks in their mind for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I am a product of 844 mm -hmm. and uh, I don't want to say that whatever I went through is not actually adding up in my life in one way or the other. But if I try to compare both sides now as mm -hmm. uh, now as Martin, I would say mm -hmm. where Alana makes a discovery of their own mm. becomes the best thing because now they will say this one is good for me, this one is not good for me, and I would prefer to take this one rather than this one. Mm. Yes. Given say that that the students are the ones to do their own research mm. to do to understand what they are good at and what they are not good at. Yeah. Uh, how, how would you say are they now students are taking in all this because maybe before the CBC came in, they were used to that. Uh -huh. uh, the teacher doing and showing them everything. For lack of better words, you could say spoon feeding them. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now they are being introduced to CBC, uh -huh. where now you're not being spoon fed you're told to go out mm -hmm. and search, yes. go out and look for information, mm -hmm. understand, do your own homework, do your mm -hmm. own research. Yes. How are they taking it in all this change that has up happened in a very short time? Yeah, from that small experience I've had with CBC, mm -hmm. I have found or I have discovered that our learners mm -hmm. are interested they are eager. They are actually waiting for that moment when a certain learning area will be conducted throughout the day. One learning area they actually crave for 
is art and craft because they are practicals they are doing. They are weaving, they are carving some uh, wood so that they can come up with a bowl. There is physical and health education where this learner goes out and conducts a practical. I once interacted with learners who, that is last year's class, the, four, the, eight for the knowledge based curriculum class eight, and actually they were asking, why is it that because we were the class that was supposed to get in first as the CBC learners, but it was postponed to the next year because of preparation and other aspects. So they actually feel that they are being denied some, mm. I don't know what, I, maybe I'll call it a chance. They are not exploring things. Because at one point we had, NEC had uh, released some assessment where learners, that was in physical and health education, learners were supposed to go out and play. Grade threes conducted another, uh, I'll call it an assessment that was ending up with a fun day. So when you tell this learner who is in 844 that that is an assessment, yet learners are having fun, they are playing. So they feel like they are being denied some of their rights or a privilege that they are supposed to have gotten it. So actually with CBC, learners are excited, they are happy, they are eager, they are craving for that lesson because of the discoveries, the new things mm -hmm. that they shall acquire through the lesson. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's always good uh, when we see our students eager to come to school, mm -hmm. eager to learn new things, yeah. given the opportunity to explore because some of the students are quite genius, mm -hmm. just that they are limited yeah. to certain way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Given said that, what are these some of the activities that are making them active in school other than the normal subjects we say math english swahili yeah what other activities you've mentioned about art and craft uh -huh. what are some of other activities that are keeping the student active in school even in that mathematics that you've mentioned it's not just the facilitator getting in class and teaching mm -hmm. there are practicals that they're supposed to be carried out the publishers have gone ahead to attach video links that will help the learners visualize more on what is being taught. So if, for example, they are doing English today and they are supposed to be talking about uh, parts of speech, it's not just teaching the parts of speech, but they will encounter other activities throughout the lesson. That is through the video, the video links that have been attached in those books, also outlined in the curriculum design. There are some other uh, activities that will go on throughout the lesson. Mm -hmm. The facilitators are supposed to introduce that lesson by asking some curious question to arouse the interest of the learner in as far as that subject is concerned. So once I pose a question to you, as even, even just out there, I start my lesson or I start my activity by asking you a question, you'll keep on asking yourself, and why was that question asked? So it gets, it brings the attachment of both the facilitator and the learner uh, throughout the lesson and of course they get to understand, they get to know uh, the objectives or the outcomes that are supposed to be achieved at the end of the lesson. Wow. Yes. Quite an information. Viewers, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more information about school and learning. How the CBC system is being accepted in the society. How children are learning and are excited to take about the activities in school to see how they're being directed by the facilitators now that we are learning that they are not being spoon fed as they were in the before curriculum of the 844 system for lack of better words but now that the students are going out to do own research and understanding more Continue sending in your comments and questions across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2 double four.